Now I'd like to talk to you about a type of question that you may need to answer in any of the four sections of the listening test. It's called classification. This type of task is distinctive because the question numbers have different features given by statements, words or phrases which will be heard in the listening test and you need to put them into a category which is labelled A, B, C or D. In this task, it's also possible for the same answers, that is letters A, B, C, etc. for the categories, to be used more than once. Let's take a look at what a classification question looks like. So, in this sample task, there is a task question here. Who is affected by the following reasons? You need to match one category from the box here to the numbered features from the recording here. But this must answer the task question and of course be given in the listening extract you'll hear. In all classification tasks the categories are of the same type. In this case people and the numbered features are the same type as well. They are reasons in this example. Notice that you must only write one of these letters, A, B or C, next to each question number on your answer sheet. Also, as in this example, you may see a both or neither category. So now let's talk about how to do the classification task. First, read the complete task carefully to understand what the topic is. Also, read the task question and decide which word or words refer to the categories. Let's look at another example. You can see here that the task question is who likes to study in the following locations? And the word who refers to the categories, which are the names of people. Then, look at the task question again and decide which word refers to the features or phrases next to the question numbers. If we go back to our example again, you can see that the word locations refers to the type of feature next to the question numbers. In addition, as you listen, you'll need to recognize who is speaking at any one time, especially if the classification task appears in section 3 because there will be two or more speakers in this section. To be more specific, you need to notice the following about each speaker. The quality of each person's voice. That is, for example, how high the voices are. Are the voices male or female? You also need to notice the speaker's accent. You don't need to identify the accent, but you need to hear the difference in accents between speakers. And finally, and most importantly, you should be able to understand the opinion or attitude of each speaker. For example, is the person disagreeing or agreeing? Or does the speaker sound surprised by something? Once you've recognized the speaker and his or her attitude and opinion, you should be able to choose the letter of the correct category and write it next to the question number. The ability to recognize speakers and their attitudes is most important in section 3 of the listening test and the classification task is often used to assess this skill. I would recommend listening to discussions as often as you can because getting a lot of practice is the best way to prepare for this type of listening task. Now take some time to review the summary of how to do this type of task.